Good morning. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner sung by Senior Leah San. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the red points we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air came proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Thank you, Leah. Good morning, graduates, families, Board of Education members, Superintendent Rhoda, administration, faculty, and staff. Welcome to Fort Lee High School's Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. At this time, I would like to bring up Mr. Delafov, our senior class advisor, to say a few words. You guys can sit. It's OK. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, as Ms. Glenn said, welcome to the Fort Lee High School Class of 2020 graduation. I want to welcome everyone for being here, uh, Board of Education members, district administration, high school administration, um, family, friends, everyone that's been a part of your guys' lives. Um, I want to take a second and have everyone give yourselves a round of applause because we made it. You guys all made it. I'm not going to take up a bunch of time, but I want everyone to think back to sophomore year when uh, I took over as uh, the class advisor and I said that this day was going to come. And I was right. It came and it came quick. So on behalf of all of us at Fort Lee, uh, congratulations. You'll always have a place here. You'll always have a home here. And again, um, from my heart to all of yours, congratulations, guys. Thank you. And I want to uh, bring up your class president, Simran Potwalia. Good morning, parents, relatives, teachers, friends, administrators, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. We did it. First, I would like to thank Mr. Delafov for always supporting my sometimes crazy ideas and always having my back and giving me great advice. And I would also like to thank my parents for always supporting me no matter what I do and encouraging me to be the best version of myself. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Standing here today in front of all of you in person is an accomplishment in itself. I know we can all agree that 2020 has been one big roller coaster. At this time of the year last year, teachers and parents were telling us to cherish the time we have together and to never take anything for granted, and that is exactly what this year has taught us, if not more. It saddens me to say that senior year was not what we had all expected. 
from the cancellation of prom to the cancellation of senior field day, and of course, the big senior prank, which I'm sure the administration is not very upset about. We were not able to experience the normal senior year that all graduating senior seniors were able to in the previous years. Although this year was not the best, I think that we can all agree that we were one of the first graduating classes to change traditions and make, the and make history. Dressing up and still having a prom celebration despite the cancellation, participating in the virtual graduation video, having large signs to honor all that we have accomplished, and of course, having a socially distanced and safe in-person graduation while following all guidelines. As the summer comes to a close, we're all getting ready to leave. Each and every one of us is going our separate ways, and admittedly, that scares me a little. Don't get me wrong, I am more than excited for the new chapter I am starting in my life. Moving to a new place with all new people is equally exciting and terrifying. However, it won't be the same place that most of us have called home for the past 12 years. We won't meet up on this exact ground on Friday nights and cheer on our football team. We won't be able to have endless movie nights and stay up late doing things we shouldn't have or do absolutely nothing together. All these little acts that we performed with our friends and took for granted will become distant memories that we will cherish forever. I know that this isn't goodbye forever and we will see each other again soon. But by then, we will all have different lives and different people that we may call friends. I am thankful for the friends who stuck by me through it all, for the friends who aren't really friends anymore, and for the friends who were never really more than good classmates. You all contributed to my high school experience in one way or another, and for that, I am incredibly grateful. As your elected senior class president of three years, I would like to leave you with a message by Joe Plumeri that will hopefully stick with you in college or whatever you have decided to do moving forward. You can Google for an answer, you can Google for a mate, you can Google for a career, but you can Google to find what's in your heart, the passion that lifts you skyward. Thank you, Fort Lee, for making, the, making me the person I am today. And of course, congratulations, graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Delafav and Simron. I now invite our salutatorian, Daniel Park, to address the class. Thank you, Ms. Glenn. Good morning. As this year's salutatorian, it is my honor to welcome you all to Fort Lee High School's commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who helped us reach this final milestone in our high school journey. The wonderful faculty and administration who did everything they could to teach and inspire us, our loving families who were with us every step of the way, and our friends who made the last four years so memorable. We couldn't have done it without you all. Many of you here today may be focused on the ongoing pandemic, but although the past few months have been hectic, it is important to, it is important to recognize that they only make up a small fraction of our time in high school. In 10 years, when we look back, we won't really remember the Zoom calls and Google Classroom assignments. We'll remember the football games, the pep rallies, and the other wonderful memories we made at school. We are gathered here today, six feet apart and wearing face coverings, but that shouldn't stop us from fully celebrating all the good moments we had. Of course, we shouldn't just forget about COVID-19, as it doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. Many colleges are switching to online learning for the foreseeable future, and it is up to us to adapt to the circumstances. Whether that means helping out our families, encouraging friends, or improving the community around us, we should all strive to do better during these times. Each of our individual impacts can make a collective difference in the world. Start today, and we can forge a future much brighter than the present. To my fellow classmates, take a good look at yourselves right now. I wonder what emotions you're feeling. Maybe some sorrow, because you'll never get to relive these past few years again, Maybe some excitement, because you're finally stepping into the adult world and gaining that long-awaited freedom you've dreamed about. Maybe you're anxious about the uncertain future that awaits you. Or maybe you're just annoyed because you have to wake up early, come here, and listen to speech after speech when you could be watching Netflix instead. Don't worry, I won't talk for much longer. I'd like to wrap up by congratulating the class of 2020. Four entire years might have seemed daunting when we were freshmen, but they flew by in an instant. Now it is time for the next chapter of our journey, and I encourage all of you to keep growing and bettering the world around you. 
There are going to be many more hardships in the future, but each and every one of us can overcome these obstacles. So congrats for making it this far, and good luck in the next four. Thank you, Daniel. Please welcome our Vice Principal, Mr. William Diaz, to recognize our academies, honor societies, and class officers. Good morning. I'd ask that you please hold your applause until the last name of each academy or honor society is called. National Honor Society. Please stand. Nina Drew Backer. Christina Marion Callis. Min Jung Cho. Caitlin Hong. Chung Yuan Alonzo Huang. Ashley J. Kim. Will the members of the National Honor Society please be seated? Academy of Finance, Justin Anibal Arias, William Richard Becker III, Vojislav Beljansky, Bernarda Castillo Matute, Ethan Jehun Chung, Arjun Ryan Chico, Samantha Eugen Choi, and Thula Cooley. Hiromasa Fujita, Alexander Gechikori, Andrew J. Hong, Amanda R. Hooten, Ethan Junhee Kang, Aaron Kim, Maya Koprivika, Arnold Albert Kushnerov, Samuel Fraser Morell. Academy of Finance, please be seated. Academy of Theater Arts, Cynthia J. Aguero, Madeline Bigelow Bailey, Jaden Yoonjung Choi, Stanley Harold Calaco, Juliana de los Santos, Eldrick Galen Etra, Mina Kim. Members of the Academy of Theater Arts, please be seated. <laughs> International Baccalaureate, Chung Yuan Alonzo Huang. You may be seated. International Thespian Society, Cynthia J. Aguero, Madeline Bigelow Bailey, Emily Dayoon Biun, Stanley Harold Calaco, Juliana de los Santos, Michelle Dominguez, Eldrick Galen Etra, Viola Ferratai, Gloria Han, Andrew J. Hong, Erica Kim, International Thespian Society. <laughs> National Art Honor Society, Emily Dayoon Byun, Samantha Eugen Choi, the National Art Honor Society. Tri-M Music Honor Society, Madeline Bigelow Bailey, Jaden Yoonjung Choi, Ryan Woojin Chung, Eldrick Galen Etra, Mina Kim, Eric Kwan, the Tri-M Music Honor Society. At this time, I would also like to recognize your senior class officers, 
President Simran Patwalia. Vice President Mia Zuma Tosik. Treasurer Maya Koprivika. And your secretary, Samuel Frazier Morell. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. I would now like to invite our valedictorian, Daniel Lim, to say a few words to his class. Thank you, Ms. Glenn. <clears throat> Dear Forley High School, the Board of Education, oh my God. Uh, distinguished guests and faculty, and loved classmates, uh, and especially the greatest mom slash counselor of them all, Ms. Brown, who is not here today because she's uh, on maternity leave. Thank you for everything you've made this possible. And I'm sorry I had to end this way. It's crazy how time flies. We were kids, just 14 when upperclassmen guided us to classrooms. It seemed like graduation would never come. Fast forward to the coronavirus. Let's be honest and call it what it is. The worst and most unexpected ending to high school. Robbed of a proper graduation, senior nights, senior trips, the last few moments of being high schoolers. We witnessed how a little virus single-handedly crushed our world. I guess we can say that this is our inauguration into adulthood the real world. And adults would frequently tell us the real world isn't very pretty. I guess that's true. Going through this, however, made me realize how much school actually meant for me. And I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Thinking of the hordes of kids in the hallways after school feels like a distant dream nowadays. Teachers begin in class, although once mundane, would be so nice to have one more time. Hugging and dabbing up friends uh, between classes. Gym volleyball. Random blackouts, those are fun. The excitement in the air during the last few weeks of school. I like to think about these things from time to time, then become sad when it hits that they'll never be again. But the drip finally stops, and we are on the other side. Once you hit rock bottom, you can only go up. On one hand, it does suck that our last year of childhood wasn't what we expected. But on the other hand, it's a great launch pad. Life always comes in cycles. Bad, then good, then bad, then good again. I'm not going to sugarcoat and say that our final moments of senior year were decent or half okay. They were bad. But that'll just make our next couple steps into adulthood that much sweeter. And it will get better. Much better than what 2020 has brought upon us even better than what we had known as normal life before. I think it's clear that there's still a lot of work to be done in the world. One virus has exposed the socioeconomic, political, and healthcare related among many more discrepancies in the world today. I remember th thinking in history class, wow, compared to the past, we're living in paradise. Yes, although we are living in relatively the greatest period of humanity, we must do better. Let's all contribute. The small collective effort of many will yield a large noticeable result. You have the power to impact your community in the right direction. Slowly the world will get better and better. I used to think that these were cheesy things to say, uh, well they still are, but I realize that it's the only option that we have. And we can do this together. Continue to fight for what is right. Continue to make change and be honest with yourself. Think deeply about what you truly want 
It will outlast the pain, fatigue, and anger you feel along the way of achieving it. The slate upon which we enter adulthood is not the prettiest in comparison to some of our older peers. But this means you and I have the responsibility to improve upon it to an even greater extent. Congratulations, Forley Class of 2020. Should I wipe it down? Okay. You can throw that in there, so it's like a statement for your teaching aid. Oh, this? Yeah. Or, or this? Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. I would like to ask our president of the Board of Education, Mrs. Esther Hans Silver, to address the class. Good morning. Thank you, Mrs. Glenn. Good morning, class of 2020. It, it truly does feel incredible to be here with all of you and to see everyone in person. What can I say to you? We know you've had to give up quite a lot to, to, due to everything that's happened. We as a community asked you, the senior class, to sacrifice a lot for the common good. It's for this reason that I think everyone will always have a special place in their hearts for the graduates of 2020. We realize that you had to work harder than any senior class before you to get across that finish line, but you persevered and you made it here today to sit here with some of your classmates. And now it's time to move forward. While I have you as a captive audience, please indulge me and allow me to give you some advice. As a parent of two high schoolers and someone who was actually sitting on this field 25 years ago for my own graduation, and I know I'm giving away my age while you sit there and calculate it, I could actually go on for hours, but I'm gonna spare myself and you know, just give you two, two key things. Circling back to some of the things that your own classmates have talked to you about today, all right? Register to vote if you're eligible. Most of you are 18 now, so it's time to take that next, next step to becoming an adult. You know, you might still have to, you know, sit at the kids' table when it comes to family gatherings, but when it comes to the political realm and what's going on in this country, you have an equal voice, but your voice can't be heard if you don't register to vote pay attention to what's going on, educate yourself on the issues, and make informed choices. Like you've heard today, you have an impact to make. We've seen that decisions made at all levels of government affect all of us, so it's important for everyone to vote. One last thing, because things ended so abruptly for all of you, you may not have had the chance. Please make sure to thank your teachers, guidance counselors, and other school staff for their help during your high school years. I know some of them are here today, but they've put a lot of effort into making sure your last year was a success. And I'm sure they would appreciate hearing from you before you go off. Class of 2020, you certainly are a special group. So congratulations from the bottom of my heart and I'm from the rest of the Board of Education to you and your families. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mrs. Hans Silver. At this time, I invite our superintendent of schools, Mr. Kenneth Roda, to the podium. Good morning, and congratulations to the family and friends of the class of 2020. Congratulations to the Fort Lee High School staff who are here and, and those not here who did a great job in getting you here. And most importantly, congratulations to you, the graduates. Your hard work and diligence over the past four years has paid off. At times during the last few months, you probably felt today would never come. Now you're wondering what happened to the last four years. In the last few if the last few months have taught us anything, it's that life is an exciting and changing ride that moves faster and faster as you go further down the track. My advice to you is try and make sure you enjoy that ride the best that you can. A great deal has happened since March. However, don't let a pandemic define you as a group or as individuals. The class of 2020 is a culmination 
of your past 18 years. Those 18 years of learning and growing have made you much more than just a class who was forced to miss out on some things. I hope that your learning and growing will continue as you move into the next part of your life. I wish you good luck to the class. Mrs. Han Silver, members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Glenn, Fort Lee High School staff, Mayor Sokolich, Chief Hintze, and the Fort Lee community, I hereby certify that the students present have fulfilled the rigorous graduation requirements of the Fort Lee Board of Education and the State of New Jersey. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Rhoda, for your remarks to the class. It is such a pleasure to be here this morning to celebrate the class of 2020. Well, we made it. I know it hasn't been easy, and life sure did give the class of 2020 many lemons, but today we start to create our lemonade. With all of the obstacles that this class has faced over the last few months, they still were able to shine. The class of 2020 earned over $108,000 in scholarship money and had many impressive college acceptances, including Princeton, Duke, Georgetown, and NYU. Our Bridgman athletes had an outstanding year. Both girls soccer and girls volleyball had their best season on record. Our girls basketball team went to the state finals for the first time in school history. Boys bowling received a group two county title. Boys indoor track received a Bergen County Small Schools title as well as the title of County Team of the Year. And of course, one of our senior boys became a thousand point scorer for the boys basketball team. In the world of performing arts, our marching band was named Group 4A Atlantic Coast Champions, a tremendous accomplishment. Our color guard was a Region 10 champion for the second consecutive year. The wind ensemble was selected to be part of the 2020 North Jersey Region 1 Concert Band Festival. We had a cellist who was part of the Fort Lee High School Piano Trio chosen to perform at Lincoln Center and another senior named to the New Jersey All-State Chorus. And this is just a small portion of the wonderful things our graduating class has accomplished during their senior year. They have truly left their mark and have made us so proud. They have proven to be strong, talented, and resilient young men and women and have handled all of 2020's misfortune well. This class makes me think of a popular childhood story. You all remember the story of the little engine that could. I'm sure many of the parents in the audience remember reading this story to their children as if it was yesterday. I think I can, I think I can. This is your motto, class of 2020. Even though many things did not go your way this year, you thought you could and you did. Just like the little engine, the class of 2020 overcame a challenging situation by having hope and positive thoughts. They made it over the mountain and achieved all of their goals. Michelle Obama recently said, you may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once. But don't ever underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on life of its own. Continue to have hope, class of 2020. Set meaningful goals for yourself, take action, and create powerful lifelong habits. Continue to believe in yourself even when life gets tough. And remember, this is just a chapter at the beginning of your brilliant story. I know you will all work hard to have your desired ending. Congratulations to the class of 2020. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Diaz to call up our seniors to receive their diplomas. I'd ask that all graduates should remain seated until their row is asked to stand. Once your row is called, please stand and begin walking to your left, moving down the center of your row one station at a time. This will make sure that a social distance is maintained. 
As you approach the stairs to the stage, please wait for your name to be called before walking across the stage to retrieve your diploma jacket. All graduates' names will be called whether they are present or not. Once each, each graduate crosses the stage, please return to your row and you may be seated. We ask that all graduates and guests hold their applause until the last name is called. For everyone's safety, at the conclusion of the ceremony, we also ask that you do not throw your caps. At this time, graduates in row one, please stand. Juvenile Ajaho. Cynthia J. Aguero. Amr Mohammed Ahmed Saad AI Alkawi Judy Alta Uwil James Tay An Milan Antonopoulos Henry Justin Arias Justin Anibal Arias Luis A. Armas Francesco Giacomo Atanasio Adiba Ayed Awad Ramazan Asimov Row 2, please stand. Nina Drew Backer Maxim Badanin In Hyuk Leo Bayek David Bajalari William Richard Becker the Third Vojislav Beljansky Madeline Bigelow Bailey hmm? Tobias Blumenkrantz
Layla Basta. Emily Dayon Bion. Kendall Caballero. Candy Thais Cabrera Valle. Christina Marion Callis. Joshua Mark Callis. Cezanne Cami. Gustavo Carvalho. Row three, please stand. I'd like to invite board member, Mrs. Paula Colbath, to present the jacket to her son. William Richard Becker III. Bernarda Castillo Matute. Adriana Cavallo. Christian Jagun Chang. Catherine Anna Chapkis. Jasper H. Chow. Ryan Chen. Ethan Jaehoon Chung. Arjun Ryan Chico. Tatenda Chicanyairo. Christopher J. Cho. Edward Cho. Min Jung Cho. Eric Dongho Choi. Jaden Yoon Jung Choi. Jun Hyuk John Choi. Row four, please stand. Min Ha Choi. Samantha Eugene Choi.
Ryan Woojin Chung. Scott Jongwoo Chung. Thomas Chung. Stanley Harold Kalako. Layla Nicole Goyaso. And Thula Cooley. Juliana De Los Santos. Christopher John Donacci. Rishab Dada. Chloe E. Diaz. Emily Diaz. Evan Diaz. Tiffany Anna Dixon. Michelle Dominguez. Joshua Stephen Estella. At this time, I'd like to invite Fort Lee High School staff member, Miss Jody Etra, to present the diploma jacket to her son. Eldrick Galen Etra. Row five, please stand. Kyle Um. Viola Ferratai. Carlos Paul Ferreiras. Angelica Figueroa. Christopher Frias. Hiromasa Fujita. Kensel Fukui. Riho Fukura. Derek Fung. Valentina Garcia Calderon. Alexander Gechikori. Rachel Jennifer Gimson. Valerie Glass. Row six, please stand. 
Brianna Golenashu. Daniela Gomez. Kevin Granados Gaviria. Caitlin McNeese Guerrero. Atharva Gulvadi. Gloria Han. Constantina Hansen. Andrew Young Hyo. Brandon Joel Hernandez. Kevin Alfred Hernandez. Danielle Hershkovitz. Kent Hirano. Andrew J. Hong. Jihoon Hong. Caitlin Hong. Amanda R. Hooten. Chung Yuan. Alonzo Huang. Row seven, please stand. Palwasha Idris. Yuichi Jang. Alkira. Jefferson. Michael Jimenez. Ki Juan Jung. Andrew Kang. Ethan Junhee Kang. Insong Kang. Aya Kareem. Connor M. Kelly. Sophia Kern. Adam Khan. Alan. Cassis Aaron Kim Row eight, please stand. Ashley J. Kim. Dong Min Kim Eric Kim
Justin Min Woo Kim. Mina Kim. Namjoon Alex Kim. Sarah Kim. Maya Koprivika. Ryan Alexander Coral. Erica Kraus. Arnold Albert Kushnerov. Eric Kwan. Noah Kai. At this time, I'd like to invite Fort Lee Board of Education member, Ms. Holly Morell, to present her son with his diploma jacket. Samuel Frazier Morell. Congratulations, seniors. Just hold on for Miss Mrs. Glynn's closing remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020. Thank you all for joining us this morning. We ask that you please exit the field quickly and safely using our four designated exits. Please continue to remain six feet apart and have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind.